So came home and we have a package from Get Lowered. If you guys seen the last video, there's Mad Max all apart. Just a small little upgrade. Like I, like I keep saying, you know, I think I'm done. I think I'm done. I don't think there's anything else that I could do to Mad Max, but we're actually installing the easy pull clutch system for the bike because like I've said in the previous video, I have the Evolution Industries clutch system and it is just, it's pretty hard to pull in. So we're gonna do that. I'll show you guys the part in a second. I will have the bike back together today, but I'm definitely not taking it for a ride. Check out the video. I recorded it as I was coming home just about a half an hour ago. And as you guys could see, because we're supposed to be hit with that snowstorm or potential snowstorm in the tri-state area here in the New York metropolitan area. And what they do here to the roads is they actually, they used to salt, they used to throw that like big coarse rock salt down, but they stopped that several years ago. Now they, what they do is in the beginning, they just spray down like a liquid brine solution. As you guys can see, it's almost like, I don't know, they, the truck has like probably about 10 spray heads in the back, big, probably like, you know, three, four, 5,000 gallon tank on the back of it. And then they just spray spray the roads with this salty brine solution. And then what happens is as that salty brine solution dries, it just kicks up dust. It looks like the desert, it's crazy. And not a good time to ride your bike at that time because those minute fine salt par particles kind of get in to the bike everywhere. So if I'm out on a trip and I have to ride through it, that's one thing. Then I'll immediately, as soon as I get home, I'll wash the bike. If the weather is freezing outside and I can't wash it, I'll just put it in the garage and as long as the bike is dry, nothing will happen. And then on the first good chance some little warmer weather I get, then immediately I'm washing the bike. But I'm not gonna take the bike out because the roads are literally already full of that salty brine solution kicking up everywhere. Next week, we're supposed to have like a 58 degree day, but all rain, and then that'll just wash away the road and then I'll take it for a test spin. But we'll put the bike together today and I'll put everything back to normal and I'll let you guys know how the clutch feels and we'll just take it from there. But I definitely wanna show you guys this part because it's supposed to work wonders, like a 40% easier clutch pull with that Mueller Easy Clutch. All right, so this is how the part comes. You could get all these parts. And just so you guys know, if you guys want anything, like literally any kind of part, over 100,000 parts Get Lowered has on their website amazing site and also if you want anything installed big bore kit like i have check out the links down below to get lowered great people to deal with great family run business and like i said they got over a hundred thousand parts on their website and if you need something chances are they have it and they'll ship it straight to you but this is the right there mueller um what do they call it here let me see it's all in german to tell you the truth for harley davidson yep it's all in German, so I don't know. If anybody speaks German, maybe they could tell me what this says. But that's the part. Let me open it up. So this is the new part right here. Comes in two pieces. And I'm going to show you guys when we take this apart. There's actually like three big ball bearings that sit in there and kind of ride on this. And when you turn this, this plate is actually going to move. When this turns, it's going to push those ball bearings up and out and kind of push that away. So these are the new components. And I'll show you guys the old stuff when we take it off. I don't know about you guys, but I'll tell you, I don't know if there's any worse smell than transmission fluid. That shit stinks, boy. <laughs> it stunk up the whole garage. Okay. We're gonna take this apart. I'm gonna put my, put my doctor's gloves on. These plastic gloves are actually good. I know many mechanics wear them now. You guys should too, because a lot of these fluids they're really not good for you. And when you work all day in these fluids, you may think that it's not seeping into your skin, but it is, it's not, it's not healthy. Definitely not healthy. So I would definitely pick up a box. I don't know, I, I got these disposable nitrile black gloves. So whenever I'm like, I should have had them on yesterday, but whenever I'm working, 
like whatever, on the car, on the bike. It's like a box of, I don't know, whatever, a hundred, cheap. And uh, you don't have to get your hands all filthy. And not only filthy, you don't want all that oil and lubricant soaking into your skin, seeping in, creating havoc and chaos in your body. All right, so I'm gonna take that off right there. There's a snap ring and that's that cam, um, which we're gonna have to replace with the Mueller right there. So let me take this off. So I hope this, uh, I hope this works. You wanna put your finger over that snap ring so that it doesn't shoot and hit you in the eye. So there's a snap ring. Let me see, oh, this is, it comes right out. You got the three ball bearings you don't want to lose. Put them in there. We've got to put them back. Now this actually comes out. You see, that's the stock one. Okay, so that's that's really simple. It's like really, really simple. Man, you guys could do this. That goes back in. Three ball bearings go back in. This goes back on. Okay. And then snap ring goes back in right now, which I'll put in. It's so simple. This job is so simple as far as putting this part in. The hardest part is obviously, you know, cause you gotta take the whole damn exhaust off. That's probably the biggest pain in the neck. And you just wanna make sure that snap ring is in. There we go. You hear that snap ring snap into place. You want to make sure that it's in everywhere and that's good to go. So now I could put all this back together. Oh man, that stuff stinks, boy. I tell you, I hate that smell. I hate it. So now I could put my bolts back in, make sure I just run them in by hand first. This way you don't mess nothing up. And I mean, you don't want to strip anything. I'm just going to run these in a little bit. Okay, tighten the rest of them up. All right, so now I can put the exhaust back on. That covers on. Uh, yeah, that's it. I could put the exhaust back on. I wish I had another set of hands, but I don't. This is going to be fun. Okay guys, final couple things that I have to do. Uh, I just gotta put the bolts back on the muffler back here and put my heat shields back on and put my mid control back on, put the bag back on, put the seat back on, I'm good to go. All right, so before we take the bike out, the last thing that we have to do is to adjust the clutch. So this is super simple, I popped the Derby cover off already. Counter clockwise, you gotta back that nut off and then put your Allen key into there, back it off all the way and then go clockwise until you hit resistance and then go back either a quarter to a half a turn and then lock that nut back down, which I already did. So now I'm gonna put all that together and then I'm gonna go onto the other side over here and make sure that the adjustment right here at the clutch cable, I'm going to make sure that I have, I have too much play right now. So I'm gonna make sure I have about, uh, I guess about an eighth of an inch of play right there. And then once that's done, um, we're pretty much good to go. I'll just take the bike out for a ride. We'll start it up and we'll go over how everything feels.
All right, guys, I just want to go for a quick ride just right here down the block. Just want to make sure how, uh, just to get a feel how the clutch is and stuff. Everything is perfect. As long as you adjust it right, you're not going to have any issue. So let's talk about it. The, the clutch lever is really, really soft. I mean, like, really soft. So when they say uh 40% i guess easier yeah probably definitely um it doesn't feel obviously like stock definitely not it definitely doesn't feel like stock but it feels just a little bit harder than stock but it is a huge difference from what it was before i installed it to now because before with the Evolution Industries, you know, six springs on there, heavy duty springs. Yeah, it was really hard to pull in. I gotta, I gotta loop the lever. But um, yeah, it was really hard to pull in. So I could definitely feel a absolutely huge difference. It's definitely going to make my life a lot easier, especially in traffic, in Daytona, at any rally, doing slow moving stuff. It's just, it's, I, I would definitely highly recommend it. If you guys have an upgraded clutch, upgraded springs, or the Evolution Industries uh, clutch system, I would absolutely do it. It's a lot, a lot easier. I mean, it's still, you know, it's definitely not stock. That's all I'm gonna say, but it's 40%, 30%. Yeah, I could definitely, I will 100% agree on that. It is definitely easier. I know I've seen a lot of people install the Mueller Easy Pull with the one finger lever. That'll probably make it even easier, right? But I think I'm happy with this. I could live with this because I actually had the Evolution Industries clutch on Silverback for, I don't know, a year. And then now I have the Evolution Industries on Mad Max for about a year. And I just, I've been dealing with it. And my left hand, I guess, is pretty strong now, but this is really, um, really nice. It's a, it's a, it's gonna definitely make trips a lot easier being stuck in traffic. So yeah, that's it, a lot easier. I like the feeling of it and uh super happy i did that so uh yeah next time there's gonna be a part three we're gonna go for a ride and i'll let you guys know how it is if you guys want to know that but thanks for watching guys appreciate every single one of you peace out